This is BVI Channel 1, where you get undiluted truth. And Nigerians, I want you to help me share this video to all your political class, beginning from that of Asorok, the presidency. Because from all the trips they have been embarking around the world, the bill I say, they know they learn any lesson where these people, they teach them. Tinibu traveled to Netherlands, and this is how he was treated in terms of the convoy given to him. Take a look. Good. You know what that is? Those two vehicles and bunch of Okada riders. That is what I will call it. To bring him from the airport or that state visit for that purpose. Okay? Now, come to Nigeria. These same people, the presidency, the motorcade, he enjoys more than 100 fleets of cars in one convoy. If you place it side by side with that of the western world let's start with the netherlands okay this is um the prime minister of netherlands when he visited london heading to downing street you can see the number of motor kate he has on his convoy you see that now this is him in korea okay being escorted by korean police you can see the number of vehicles on his motorcade but Tinibu's convoy eh? he never finished you you see the waka eh? you see the start and finish of one convoy of the prime minister both in london and in korea but eh, the one of Tinibu for nigeria still never finished wahala no they finish for nigeria now this is a lady in Netherlands, an African lady that is so excited to see the Prime Minister walking on the streets of Netherlands, no escort, no protocol, no wahala. Just look at Western leaders. Tootsies. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm planning to be the Prime Minister of Netherlands today whilst I was going to work. I'm so happy. You. Good morning, everybody. I'm on my way to the to the shop to take care of my glasses. Yeah. She is on her way to her job. And then I am to my job. Yeah. You can't believe this. It's hard to see walking to work in the morning with the prime minister. It's a small world. Yes. You see, that is how, that is how life is. But in Nigeria, in Africa, a common local government chairman, you can see him on the street. When we're talking about this kind of a thing, it is just to bring to your notice how wasteful African leaders are, especially Nigeria. And you expect to attract foreign investment. By the way, this is not the first time we are seeing the trip of the president of Nigeria or that of Africa going to Europe for this kind of state visit in the name of attracting foreign investors. Who will take you serious? Buhari did that in 2018. What came out of it? Nothing. Why? Because they see you as some serious people and bunch of, you know, never do wells. Who will, you know, take loan? You will not. You're not ready to pay it, you'll divert it and probably resend it back to accounts in their various countries of the West. But that is not what we are talking about here. We are talking about wasteful government. And do you think that Tinibu's government can attract any foreign investor? How will you attract a foreign investor into an economy that is collapsing with double quick match? Where inflation is on a double does. On a double quick man, let me just put it that way.
There is no other way to because the way inflation is rising in Nigeria, you will wonder if we actually have any government with purpose or sense of direction. Tinibu, you are increasing all the tariffs from all the factors of production. Are you where would they invest in? Where would they invest in? That will guarantee the return on their investment. We're no longer talking about the kickback and front among government officials, the corruption. How far? This rhetoric of um, going abroad, uh, you're just going on a trip to just gallivant as far as you are concerned because nothing good will ever come out of it. Like I said earlier, this is not the first time we're seeing such trip. And Nigerians, come to think of it, bring it down to your own level. I was speaking with one of my friends, a trader, who said in his company, they don't have credit facility for anyone. If you want to buy on credit, go to another company. Why? Because the one that is asking him of um, credit, his lifestyle, he cannot guarantee he will ever pay back. These are the people that goes to the to functions and be doing durime and be spraying money everywhere. That he will not use his money to go and do dorime or do spraying of spraying spraying uh, 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 bazaar in a function. Hmm? Now, if an average trader in Nigeria can think like that, now how do you think that foreign government, Western government, knowing the level of wastage you have as your governments in Africa, especially Nigeria? Who will you think you can attract foreign investors into that same economy? And how do you think they are going to give you more loans? Except the loans that is going to squeeze you more. So, that is just about it. Why am I making this video? I'm making it to bring it to the conscience of Nigerian people. That these guys don't expect anything good from them. Until they prove otherwise. Because they are not matching break. In delivering bad governance to the people if you think i'm wrong drop it on the comment section and if you think i'm right share it share it to everyone do you think that tilibu has what it takes to attract foreign investors or even secure good loans that we put into use for the benefit of nigerian economic growth drop it on the comment section let the conversation continue i still remain the advocate for good governance and ggm will continue pressing it until Nigerians wake up to realize that we are all victims of bad governance in Nigeria. Bye-bye for now.